Welcome to one of the narrow cycle paths which run either side of Pont d'Aquitaine, the impressive suspension bridge over the River Garonne, which has been a fixture on the Bordeaux skyline since 1967. But I haven't come here to look at Pont d'Aquitaine itself, which you can of course read about on the Invisible Bordeaux website, but rather to take in the view from the bridge, a view which, to be honest, can only really be properly enjoyed by cyclists. This then is the full panoramic postcard view when looking south, but let's take some time out to pan around from east to west. Here we are overlooking the old town of Lormont. The railway line in front is a, the TGV railway line, which goes through a tunnel there. The greenery is the Parc de l'Hermitage Sainte Catherine, which takes us around to the Bastide Bradza Industrial Estate and Sunon. on then Maslip Bridge, behind that the JMP Mill and Semichel Church, and in front of that there's a rig which used to be used for underwater rock excavation. Central Bordeaux deserves its own screenshot focus here with Place de la Bourse and Pierre Bernard Tower, you can make out the cathedral in the background. Still on the waterfront there we have Pierre Bernard Tower again and the cathedral and the Grand Théâtre in front. Finishing off here with the Église Notre Dame, the Big Wheel at a fun fair, the Colonne de Girondins, and in the background the tower blocks of the Serge Quarter in Pessac. Carrying on around we can see the city administrative over there, the tower blocks of the Grand Parc district, la base sous-marine, and in the foreground the Bacalan Quarter, including a tiny marina. It then takes a swift ride into Lormont to be able to turn around and access the other flank of the bridge. And this is the full panoramic view when looking northwards. Panning around we have the LAC, business and hotel quarter, the new football stadium, there's a wartime bunker in the foreground along with some Carolee fishing huts, and in the distance the golf course and Medoc wine growing area. On the right bank is Bassins, including the La Barnakin district with shipyards and docks. You can just make out an Airbus ship which is used to transport parts of the A380 Super Jumbo. On the skyline you can just make out Eglise Saint-Pierre, parts of which date back to the 12th century. And we finish up with a Seguinot quarter looking up towards Carbon Blanc. From here there's only one way back and that only way happens to be down, and very hair-raising it is too. Anyway, the moral of the story is, make sure that the next time you get stuck in traffic on Pont d'Aquitaine, you have a good pair of binoculars handy in order to be able to fully enjoy the view.